Hello and howdy, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow mathletes. Root Beer here, continuing our look at the 2013 Grade 7 Gauss, and we are up to question number 9. An expression that produces the values in the second row of the table shown, given the values of n in the first row, is... So let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're producing 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now they give us our options here. We don't have to come up with the expression. We just have to see which of these is right. right. That's fantastic. It's a lot easier to work with. Although if you wanted to give yourself a little bit of a challenge, cover these up and see if you can figure out a way to go from the top number to the bottom number. Okay? That would be perfectly fine. But, you know, let's just do a nice simple approach. We've got the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, five, seven, nine. If you're experienced with math, you'll know that they're doubling and subtracting one. But let's pretend we don't know that. Okay. What are our options? 3n minus 2. Here's, uh, here's the better, here's a, here's a nice way to lay it out. Okay. I'm going to make sort of a few tables. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's our n. Our mystery function does what? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And we have some options here. We're going to list them all. Uh, 2 times n minus 1. n plus 4, 2n, and then 2n minus 1. Here's what I'm going to do. If n is 1, I'm just going to plug it into each of these expressions. So, for example, if n is 1, n plus 4 would give me 5. So, automatically, I know that's not the right answer because it should give me a 1. Now, if I do 3 times n, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2, I do get a 1. So, this one's still in the running. 2 times n minus 1, well, 1 minus 1 is 0, times 2 is 0. So, this one's out. 2 times n, 2 times 1 is 2. That also doesn't work. 2n minus 1, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is also a 1. So it's either a or e. Let's grab the next one, shall we? Okay. Uh, 3n minus 2, so 3 times 2, my n value now, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. Well, it should have been a 3, so that's out. And 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3. 2 times 3 minus 1 is 5. And 7 and 9. So it turns out this is the correct one. And so our answer is going to be E. Okay, that's it. That's all that it is. Um, you don't have to do it this way. But we, we ran out of possibilities pretty quickly. It didn't take us that long. Uh, so this wasn't a bad way to approach the question at all. There are other ways, of course. But I like this one. Okay, so that was question number nine. We've got one more question to go in part A, one more question that's worth five marks. We're going to take a look at question number 10 next time.